welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is on this look right here. It's more of like a spring inspired look again, but it is emphasized on do a little bit more of like having dewier skin and looking fresh, kind of like the sun just like hit your face and gave you some glow. Um, and I did add a little bit of like color with yellow and then the pink lip. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. We are going to start out with priming our face with Fix Plus. I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and this one is in the color Duvel, I think, or Light 4. So if any of you guys are wondering what shade I am, that's the shade. So I'm just going to shake the bottle a little bit and then apply it or dot it to my face. Then I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and just apply this to the under eyes, around the nose a little bit, um, and then the forehead just to give me a little bit of highlight as well. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110 powder. I also just went ahead and used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in chocolate and I just did this off camera because you guys know the drill, everything's the same, brows look exactly the same as the last video. I then went ahead and used the Ardell Sculpting Brow Gel just to set all the hairs in place. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using the Tarte Tartlet Palette. So I'm going to start off by using this color right here. This is the Force of Nature and this is just going to be our crease color and a transition color. But I do want it to be very neutral and this is kind of like a pinky nude color so I thought it would be great to start off with it. I'm also going to take this color underneath the lash line just to give us a little bit more definition there. Then I'm going to add this ColourPop uh, Super Shock Eyeshadow in Weenie and this is going to go on the outer parts of our eyelid. And these eyeshadows apply better with um, these type of brushes. This is the MAC. 242 so if you guys have something like this I feel like the eyeshadows apply pretty well with these type of brushes um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush and apply the eyeshadow Then 
So I'm gonna go in with that initial crease um, color that we did first, and I'm just gonna blend out the edges just to make it more uh, smooth and get rid of any harsh lines and kind of blend in the colors together. Then for that middle section for our eyelid, I'm gonna use the color pop Super Shock Eyeshadow and Telepathy. And I'm just using that same brush here to apply this color in that middle section just to give us a little bit of pop of color. So to make the eyeshadows blend a little bit more, I'm going to add that initial um, color in Weenie and just add a little bit more to those outside corners to blend it in more with that yellow color. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face before I finish up the eyes and I'm going to be using, of course, to bronze up my face, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I love this stuff, you guys know that. Um, I just think that the color is just so perfect for my skin tone personally. It's not too like ashy brown. Um, it's just like the perfect shade. I don't know what it is, but I really, really, really love this. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of contour to my nose as well. Moving on to blush, I'm going to use the Tarte Bling It On uh, palette and I am going to use the shade, uh, I think I'm going to go with Smashing, this one right here. I think it's really pretty. And for highlight, I'm going to use the Becca, this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Champagne Pop. We are going for more of like a dewier uh, type of look, so I'm going to add this a little bit heavier than I usually do to the tops of the cheeks, the nose a little bit, forehead and the chin even. Moving back to our eyes, I'm going to add the Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner Crayon in the color Purple Stilettos, this one right here. I curl my lashes. And of course, we are going to apply the telescopic, L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And because I was going for like a more colorful look with the eyes and stuff, I thought I would do a colorful bold lip. So I'm going to be using MAC um, Pink Plaid. And I'm going to first line my lips with MAC Lip Pencil in Subculture. And this is more of like a nudie color, but I think it works because with this, um, if I apply this first, I can actually like overdraw my lips a little bit and line them and make them look a little bit more fuller. And then go in with that pink um, lipstick color. So that's what we're going to do.
Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with MAC Fix Plus again, just to give me that extra glow and a little bit of dewiness.